Hey everyone, I'm going to show you this program that I've been using to make some great money online automatically. It's called the Fiverr Automatic Seller. So what you do is you just open it, you log in. Now you're going to have to need a license key to get this, obviously. So what you do is you go ahead and type in your username here. And mine is FastFBLikes2014. Go ahead and type in your password. And what you're going to want to do is grab your gig URL. And how you do that is you go ahead and go to your gig and go to preview. And up in the URL, you go ahead and copy that. And what you do is you take it right back to here and you paste it. This way, so your program knows what, to, uh, what gig that you're talking about. So I already go ahead and paste it. And what you're going to want to do is uh, have the file path set to the correct uh, file path for the file that you're going to be sending to the uh, buyer. So, for instance, I'm just going to name this one, uh, you know, the delivery file. So, we're just doing this for example. I'm going to show you how to actually do this. So, go ahead and click add. And what that will do is add that for that user and for that gig. So, go ahead and push save. And as you can see, you can check the to make sure it's saved there. So, go ahead and click start. And what this will do is this will start to log into your account. Now, depending on how many times you log in a day, it may ask you, um, you know, a security question, for instance, uh, you know, what's five times two or, you know, something along the lines of that. And for instance, it's trying to stop me right now for it. So, you know what? Uh, what I'll do is I'll just manually punch it in, which is not a problem. So, what's George's name? Well, George's name is George. So, it automatically, so it logged in. So we're logged in right now, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my other account so that way I could purchase this gig and show you that, you know, the real functions of this. So go ahead and go ahead and log out of this account. And now I'm going to log into one of my other accounts. Like I said, if you log in and out of an account too many times a day, then, you know, they'll give you the security question. So I'm logged into my other account, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that link up above to the other account so I can purchase the gig. So as you can see, I'm going to go push order now, and I'm going to do it through PayPal. It's going to take us to the other screen to enter our PayPal information. Now you don't have to pay through PayPal, but this is an account that I already have, so I'm just going to pay through PayPal. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Waiting for it to log in. And I'm just going to go ahead and pay now. I already have a PayPal balance, so... Alright, so the gig has not found it yet because it asks for the uh, information from the other buyer. So as a buyer, we're going to go have to go and push in the information. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and minimize this to show you that you need to punch in the information, or the buyer does. So that way this program finds that there is a new order placed. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. And I'm going to go ahead and type in, you know, any kind of message or whatever the buyer would type in for this instance. And since it's a downloadable file, there's probably not much that he's going to say instead of, you know, just please send this file to me. Maybe an email that you might want to send. So it's lagging a little bit. Just give it a, give it a couple minutes. I'll give it a couple seconds, actually. So I'm going to push wait because I've just got a bunch of things rolling on my computer right now. Alright, so I'm going to type in I'm ready for, you know, my file or my ebook. Go ahead and push send. And we're going to go right back to the program to check to see if it's going to find it, which it will. That's what it's for. So we got a little bit to wait. So as we're waiting, I can tell you a few other things about this program. So the program automatically takes the buyer's name and inserts it into the file's name right in front of it. 
So for instance, uh, this buyer is named helping 101. So the file name is going to be helping 101 underscore the file name that we named it in the beginning of the video. And that way it just makes it unique and let alone you're not sending the same file over and over to the same, you know, to other people. So we're just going to go ahead and wait, you know, 15 more seconds. So this thing checks every 30 seconds, every 30 to 60 seconds to see if you have any new messages, any uh, new buy, you know, buying offers, you know, any more new gigs from people. Um, so as you can see, the, the order was delivered since it found a new order and it says order was delivered. So let's go ahead and check out to see if this was delivered. It says order delivered, please review. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this. This is where you take it to, you know, if you need to go do feedback or anything. And as you can see, there's the there's the file right there. It's helping 101 and then the our file name that we named it. And it says your order. So what we're going to do is that there's another function on here is that if the buyer asks for a modification to, um, you know, to the gig, it will send us a prompt message window on our computer to let us know that we need to do something. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and submit request. And like I said, it's going to, you know, every 30 seconds, every 30 to 60 seconds, it will check to see if there's any new messages that you know that we need to check so we're gonna wait you know another 10 seconds or so for this thing to load up and when it does like I said it's gonna pop up to a window stating you know that you have a new modification request and that you need to do something so there it is there's the window and you can type directly into the window uh, and reply right back from here. You don't have to go, you know, sign in or anything. It's already signed in. It's already ready to go for you. And that's the neat thing about this. So go ahead and type in whatever message you want. Say, I'm going to be sending, you know, a new file to you. And when you got the message in there, go ahead and push the uh, send modif you know, modified file. And what this will do is pop up and you'll just select the, the new modified file that you want to go ahead and send to them. So... That's how you do that, and I'm going to show you how to do a message. All right, so you're going to want to send a message. We're going to show you the messaging function. It works just as the same as a uh, modified request. So go ahead and push contact the, the seller and type in the message, you know, whatever the buyer would send in naturally. And what this will do is we'll check to see if there's any new messages as well as modifications or cancel requests for your gig. This is all automated. You know, this is this is what the nice thing about this program is. So go ahead and push send. It will send that. And what that will do is it will pop up, you know, a new uh, modification slash, uh, you know, message for us. So we're just going to wait out the seconds here as the program refreshes and checks for new, uh, new request. So this is just a great way to automate and sell over multiple accounts. So it, it's going to find a new modification because since we haven't sent one yet. So there's the modified w window. And there goes the, the new message window. Now, the new message window, you can type directly into it. Like I said, all these windows you can type directly into. You don't have to re-log in or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and type in our message. And when you get done, you go ahead and push message. And that will send the buyer the message that you just typed in right there. So let's go ahead and check out to see if that worked for us. And as you can see, it instantly sent the message. So guys, I mean, this is a great program to sell over multiple Fiverr accounts automatically for downloadable or anything that you need to just send right away. You know, if you guys have those, uh, you know, video testimonies, videos or you know, you're going to design a logo, go ahead and still do that, but just do this on the side, this for an extra, you know, thing of income. And you can have multiple usernames, uh, you know, user accounts, and you can have multiple gigs, you know, so you can have 20 gigs per account and multiple accounts. So just add it, add that up and, you know, do the math right there. That's just, you know, money rolling in for free. So guys, go ahead and check this out.